So welcome to the University of Montana Northern Disc Golf Course, which is located in Haver, Montana. Now, for the most part, this course is uh, pretty much laid out around the campus. It pretty much starts um, right here at hole one, kind of nearest the parking area. But some people also start, if you go to the main parking area, you can also start on hole 14. So whatever option you want to do, it doesn't really matter. But um, hole one starts there off to the side of the main parking lot kind of and then it just kind of rolls all the way around the back side of the university and comes back around to the front so the very first few holes here that you're going to see in the very beginning are very well maintained very well groomed um, it's got the sprinkler systems and everything like that but as we after we get through hole three starting into hole four and beyond it's it's cut and it's kind of maintained but it's definitely in a more of a kind of a field atmosphere instead of a grass type atmosphere the bugs can definitely be a very big issue especially in the springtime after we get a bunch of moisture so i definitely highly recommend backing some bug spray because you're going to want to need it and then so like i said the course basically just kind of flows up and down a lot of ups and downs a lot of real open holes um not a lot of obstructions in the way besides you know uh, a few trees here and there on the front part of the course as you can see in this hole number four you pretty much throw all the way across this huge like little valley type thing and so it can be it can be pretty brutal with uh, some of the uphill holes that we're going to see and it can be Really nice though, having the open holes that we're going to also be seeing throughout this course. So after finishing hole four, we're just going to kind of walk around these dorms and this is where the start pad five is going to be. And then when you throw, you're going to kind of throw over. It's kind of, you can see right there, kind of sitting up on top. Again, you kind of throw off to the, over the side of this little coulee. And obviously you want to be careful you don't overthrow this or otherwise you're looking at a nasty uphill throw all the way back to the basket. And then again, hole six just also kind of throws right along this particular like valley or coulee. And then after we get past hole number six, uh, the next few holes will definitely kind of level out and won't, we're not going to be throwing over as many coolies. Again, because it does kind of weave around these dorms and different things, you want to be cautious that you're not interfering with any of the residents that do live there. Um, now that we got here to hole seven, like I said, this one now is really open. It's kind of on the other side of this little shed. You'll see it, it's a long one. So there is quite a few par fours throughout this course. Um, be careful of the structures and stuff, obviously on the university grounds here. Um, make sure you don't uh, vandalize or abuse those in any way, shape or form. After we end with hole seven here, we're going, when we approach hole eight, you can see a little roadway here. So that's the road that goes into the parking area for a lot of the students that are living in those quarters back there. So like any time that you're on a course, when you see a roadway, just be cautious of the traffic. Nobody needs a disc getting thrown at their window or the side of their car by no means. So be careful of that. So like I said, as you see, it's basically pretty open. This is kind of the area where I was mentioning earlier that it's kind of like a field type environment. Uh, a lot of tall grass, they don't mow, you know, throughout the whole entire course, but they definitely, you know, there is areas where they do maintain obviously, but it can be, get pretty tall grass along the back side of this course. And because of that tall grass, you also get a lot of mosquitoes and the bugs like that. So again, can't stress it enough you might want to make sure you bring some bug spray if you do this whole entire course so as we approach hole number 10 this is another one that's just going to be kind of wide open this is also another par four like i said there is a lot of long holes on this course um, there's a really long one when we get to 12 i'll explain that in a little bit more detail but 12 is a really neat hole so it's actually kind of one of my favorite ones on here, but it's actually a par five. And like I said, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get there, which we're almost there. Um, we're coming into, uh, we're finishing up hole 10, and now we're gonna throw at hole 11. And this is actually a short par four. Um, at 342 feet, I'm not sure why they decided to count this as a par four, but that's what they wanted to do. I didn't design the course. I'm just uh, relaying what the, uh, um, course designers put down so and they wanted this as a par four so it is what it is 
very easy one to bird if you got any kind of a good distance to it, or maybe even eagle that one. So at any rate, um, after you finish hole 11, we're gonna do a long walk kind of around the, through this parking lot and hole 12 tee box is way on the other side. So this is the only area where the tee boxes aren't very close to the previous hole. So you are gonna go for a little bit of a walk, but the nice thing is once we start getting to hole 12 here, we're back into nice groomed area of the college. So again, like I said earlier, this is a par five with a distance of 687 feet and it's gonna have some trees in the way. So this is definitely a long hole with a little bit of more challenge to it because it's not as open as those previous holes, which in my opinion makes it, for, makes it a really great hole. So as you see, when we approach these uh, bundle of trees right up ahead, the basket is nestled up on the other side of those. Now the other thing that I wanna bring up that you're gonna see here in a second is hole 13 no longer exists. So don't even look for it. What happened is, as you can see, there's construction going on. Hole 13 used to be right over there on the left-hand side, and it kind of threw all the way down, but they're building a new um, field, football field and arena and everything for the college. So they had to eliminate hole 13. So we just bypass this whole area, and we're gonna cross this parking lot. And remember earlier when I said that a lot of people start at hole 14? This is the hole that I was talking about. So you could park in the main parking lot area, either here or the parking area off to the right. And you could start here at 14 and then play all the way around to hole 12 and then just end there. Again, it's totally up to you, whatever your preference is there. So coming into hole 14, we are gonna, it's another long par four, uh, 495 feet. It's fairly open though, as you can see, there's a couple little trees here and there, but for the most part, it's a nice open field, a nice open throw, very well maintained. This is the part of the, part of the course that they do a great job of maintaining. And then after we get through hole 14, we're gonna jump into hole 15 that kind of throws right over the edge of this little pond that they have here, which I think is kind of neat. So you don't, don't wanna screw up your first throw or you're gonna end up in the water. But if you get past all the water, get over the top of the water and get through these trees, then the basket is actually located right down here on the corner. Um, depending on where your first throw lands, be cautious of your second throw. Don't overthrow it and hit any kind of the, any of the traffic that's driving through the road there and on the main road behind it. And then after you finish that one, we're gonna throw uphill to hole 16. Uh, nice little uphill throw. It's kind of a little flat at the beginning, obviously, and then it goes all the way up the hill. Beautiful thing about throwing uphill is we get to turn around and throw right back downhill for hole 17, which you see here in just a few seconds. And here we go. So we get to throw off the top of this hill all the way down right in front of us down there. Again, be careful if you have a really strong throw that you don't uh, chuck your disc out into that road where there's quite a bit of traffic. So be cautious of that. I'm not sure, you know, the, everybody's distance definitely varies. So you want to just, be, if you got a real strong, powerful throw, just be careful you don't hit any oncoming traffic. All right, hole 18 is going to basically deadhead right back to where we started. That's the main parking lot that I was talking about, where you could, if you wanted to start at hole one, then that's exactly where you would park right there. And that pretty much wraps it up, folks. So I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, please feel free to smash the like button. If you are a subscriber to Disc Golf Course Tours, I want to thank you for your support. If you're not, please hit that subscribe button. Have a good day.